Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Victor, the Machine Herald. Victor is a mage, but the style of mage is up to the player. Whether choosing a mid-ranged tanky mage, a bursty damage dealer, or a longer-ranged supporter, Victor has a variety of tools to dismantle the competition. Victor's passive is Evolving Technology. Victor starts the game with a hex core in his inventory. This hex core can be upgraded within the in-game shop into one of three upgrades, corresponding to his three basic abilities. Each upgrade grants different stats and benefits its eponymous ability in some way. We'll go over these upgrades shortly. Power Transfer damages a single target enemy and returns a portion of that damage as a temporary shield to Victor. If Victor upgrades to Augment Power, then Power Transfer also gives Victor a movement speed buff whenever he uses it. As his most consistent damage tool, I max Power Transfer right away. Gravity Field creates an area on the ground that slows all enemies inside it. Enemies who stand inside the field for too long are also stunned. If Victor upgrades to Augment Gravity, then Gravity Field's cast range is increased. As his main utility spell, I grab one point early, but leave it to level 18 to max it. Death Ray allows you to choose a start point and a trajectory, damaging all enemies along the path. If Victor upgrades to Augment Death, then Death Ray will deal bonus damage over time to every target it hits. As an area of effect spell, it's more useful mid-game than early game, so I max it by level 13. Chaos Storm damages and briefly silences all enemies in an area, also leaving behind a storm for a few seconds that continuously damages every enemy around it. You can command the Chaos Storm to move to your cursor by reactivating the ability. As an ultimate, I rank it at levels 6, 11, and 16. By ranking Power Transfer early, you can easily trade blows with enemy champions and come out ahead. Here I make it a point to walk over to Morgana and tag her with Power Transfer. I make the effort to stick around for a few attacks as my shield blocks most of her counterattack. Make sure to keep Gravity Field available for jungle ganks. As Shivana comes to gank me, I aim it such that I'm on one edge of it, Shivana's on the other, and I walk through the entire diameter of the field. This means that if she chases me, I'm sure to get away as she'll get stunned. Unfortunately, through a combination of her exhaust and Morgana's flash, I'm forced to dodge Morgana's dark binding with a flash of my own. Victor's full damage combo is extremely potent. I notice Shivana trying to dive me, so I hit power transfer, lead her away from the turret, and keep running until the spell comes back from cooldown. Immediately after, I lay down everything. Gravity Field keeps her in range of Chaos Storm, as Death Ray and Power Transfer also deal significant damage. Thanks to Morgana's Black Shield, she just barely survives the encounter, but Ramus rolls in for the kill immediately after. Gravity Field is a great way to set up a fight. As Nunu and Shivana come down, I drop it to separate the two of them. Nunu can't retreat, and Shivana can't come in. They both try anyway and get caught in its stun, so Ramus comes in to pick up on Nunu. We burst him down and continue to push onto our enemies. Because they're missing key members, I can play extremely aggressively, forcing Swain out with power transfer and death ray, while cutting off Shivana's retreat with gravity field. As the fight winds down, I'm able to find Swain with a flash and a power transfer. Thanks to augment power, the movement haste plus shield allow me to escape Ash as my team backs me up. Gravity field works phenomenally well when combined with a teammate's crowd control. As Lux and I happen to catch Yorick on the quarry, I hit Gravity Field right as she tags Light Binding. As a result, he's locked up under our entire damage output, falling before even making it more than a quarter of the screen. As Death Ray doesn't interrupt your movement and Chaos Storm deals continual damage, this allows you freedom to chase down opponents. I open up on Ari with Power Transfer and Death Ray, but as she runs away, I tag her with the tip of Chaos Storm and set it to follow Galio. Even though I'm no longer in range of any of my other abilities, we pick up the kills easily. This same combination works exceptionally on offense as well. As Rumble and I push on the Boneyard, we lay our gravity field with the Equalizer. Twisted Fate gets completely caught and falls before being able to deal any damage. Tristana pushes back onto Rumble, but I'm able to take her out when my minions neutralize the point. As one final note, casting Death Ray at the edge of its range and aiming it outward lets you outpoke almost anyone. As Tristana attempts to defend the drill, a quick cast of Death Ray hits her for about 500 damage without any fear of counterattack. For runes, I take Magic Penetration Marks, Ability Power Per Level Seals, Ability Power Per Level Glyphs, and Flat Ability Power Quintessences. 
This setup is aimed at giving me significant damage with my abilities. If you're going to build for a tanky power transfer build, consider armor seals and magic resist glyphs instead. My masteries are 2109, focusing on increasing my ability power, magic penetration, mana regeneration, and neutral buff duration. Like with the runes, this build is aimed at granting me significantly increased damage. However, for a tanky build, consider 10, 11, 9, foregoing some ability power for bonus armor, magic resist, and health. In classic, I open with a sapphire crystal and two health potions. I rush for Catalyst the Protector and Boots of Speed, upgrading to Rod of Ages soon after. After Rod of Ages, I complete Sorcerer's Shoes. The choice augment is up to you, though I build power in this spotlight. There are a number of strong items to consider regardless of your build, including Riley's Crystal Scepter, Rabidon's Death Cap, Will of the Ancients, and Void Staff. In Dominion, your build may end similarly, but start differently. I open with Prospector's Ring, Boots of Speed, and two Health Potions. Rushing Sorcerer's Shoes, Riley's Crystal Scepter, and Augment Power lets you run around in fights and use a significant movement speed advantage to win them. Again, consider heavy-hitting ability power items like Rabidon's Death Cap, Will of the Ancients, and Void Staff. Thanks for tuning in to the Victor Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel above, and don't forget to thumbs us up just below the video.